Hi, my name is McKinnon. Uh, I've been working at Mary Freebed for almost two years now. Uh, today we're going to go over the cast that we received from the hospital and other labs and we're going to modify an AFO with Tamarax and also a stop as well. So we first get a cast that's going to look like this. And we're also going to get a worksheet that looks like this. And first things first, you review all of the information to make sure it's correct and you understand it. And the first thing we look at is uh, what degree they want the ankle in. So sometimes it's leave it as is, neutral, and you can know that degree by checking it here. And then depending on what they re are requesting, you can cut the ankle like this. And you're able to put pieces of tongue depressor in there to hold it still. And then this will be fully wrapped with plaster bandage and up the spine right here to fill in any cracks and the toe as well. And then once that's dry, the whole cast will be wrapped in saran wrap. It will be placed in our tub of sand and you can fill it up and put a pipe in there. And then once that's completely dry, this is what it will look like and you can take the cast off. We usually will lightly uh, shave down the calf area uh, to get any of the smaller bumps out or anything like that. And then we also have to look at the work order to see uh, if they want to heal at all or flat surface. So this one would be flat surface. Um, so we usually slide it on this screen right here to make sure the whole foot plate would be flat so the patient's able to stand. Uh, you also have to look at the cast height. And that will be marked. And then the main areas that we have to build up on are the ankles, the met heads, novicular, base of the fifth. We usually do about 3 sixteenths. I mean, every case is going to be different, but 3 sixteenths on the ankles, about an eighth on the meds, and then depending on how bony these are, that will do larger buildups on those. And then on the proximal edge, we usually do a flare-up like this of plaster bandage, just so the cast doesn't have, um, or so the cast is not pinching the patient. And then we also add plaster cast or bandage on the end of here just to elongate the foot plate so we don't run out of room. Um, this one's in the middle of the works. This one has a little bit of the plaster work. All these gaps were filled in, filled up around the ankles, mats, the toe plate's elongated and flattened on the bottom, but it's still not finished or smoothed out yet. And then this cast is fully smoothed and it's ready to pull. As you can see through the buildups. And then this one also has a tamarack joint that will be placed. All right, to place tamarack joints, you have to make sure it's completely straight. I always start out looking at the very apex of each. Now you want these to be completely parallel, watch it up and down, forward and backwards. So you kind of have to get a couple different views. And then together, this is going to work as a hinge joint for the AFO. And then these will be nailed in so they don't move while you're pulling plastic. And then from the middle of where these will be placed, you draw your line up and that's going to be your cutting line for when you're articulating it. And then your stop will also be placed right here before you pull. And then another piece of plastic, uh, the same as what you're going to pull. So that will help with the stop. And then once everything is put on here for the joints, you can follow me over here. We have the Tamarax nailed in, we have the stop right here. This is the plastic piece that will also be in the oven with the full sheet to sit right here. And then you'll pull the plastic. And then we have one with Tamarax. This one does not need a joint, or a stop on the back, I mean. But this is what it's gonna look like with all the plastic on. And then we wait for them to cool. And then we add straps and the joints and padding.